question is from Cole World. Are trap bar deadlifts as good as straight bar deadlifts? Oh, we did trap bar deadlifts uh, on our post Thanksgiving uh, workout. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not that I don't think it's a uh, as good or not as good. It's different. Yeah. yeah, I you know I like I actually like trap bar deadlifts better for the average person mm -hmm. um, than a straight bar deadlift because you get a lot of similar benefits. Not the same. It's a different exercise. But you get similar benefits, and but the, the it's easier to learn. That's what it and is. to do properly. Less actual skill of of having to you know like like your mechanics aren't uh, as like like th there's not a whole lot that you have to teach in terms of like where you have to be specifically to otherwise you know like you're you're gonna like potentially get hurt if you do it wrong. Yeah, the risks with uh, straight bar deadlifts are higher. Than with trap bar deadlifts, There's, it's more technical with the straight bar. Oh, way more. And so your risk of injury is higher. Now that doesn't mean you're going to get injured. If you do both right, you're fine. It just means if you mess up a little bit, you're probably more likely to mess up with a straight bar. Um, and then because you mess up a little bit, you're more likely to hurt yourself uh, with the straight bar. So now that being said, functionally speaking, okay, um, I think straight bar deadlifts have a, uh, are a little bit uh, get the edge in terms of functional. Strength, because when you're bending over to lift something up, it's typically in front of you. Hmm. So, like, think of lifting up at the end of a couch or helping your buddy carry something. Yeah, you're not grabbing in a neutral grip. Unless you're yeah. carrying a wheelbarrow or a uh, fucking right. horse and carriage. Exactly. It's posterior <laughs> base. It's, it's, yeah. it's in case you're doing that. Yeah. yeah. But I, I get a lot of similar benefits. So, with the trap bar, a little bit more quad involvement. But I still get that back thickness feel from it um i get less low back involvement um than i would with it with a straight bar but the low back is still pretty heavily involved i personally can lift about anywhere between 60 to 70 more pounds with the trap bar because the biomechanics are just it's better there's more advantage to it you know um if i could pull 600 pounds with the trap bar then that means i probably at 530 with the straight bar you know type of deal yeah i i use the i use the uh trap bar with um, I guess we should explain what the trap bar is for somebody who doesn't know what that That's is. That's true, right? So the trap, the trap bar, it, it, it's like a what shape is that? Is it like an? It's not. It's a. It's almost hexagon. like a. It's almost like a hexagon. It's almost like a, hexagon. Hexagon. It it, it almost it like a square. Well, they call it hex bar it's as well, hexagon. right? It's yeah. a hexagon. Yeah. yeah. So it's a hexagon is what it is, mm -hmm. and then you, you stand in the you middle. You stand in the middle of it, and the, the the hexagon goes all the way around you, right? And then you grab in a neutral grip. There's two handles, which on each is side. my favorite part, is that it's in a neutral grip. Right. Yeah. So I I use the, this a lot with like uh, advanced age clients that I'm like te like training, right? Because yeah. you can get the benefits, like you said, a lot of the benefits that you get for deadlifting, um, without the how being as technical as the deadlift, but um, I prefer to 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 teach that with the idea that we're going to progress to a deadlift uh, uh, eventually. Um, and in fact, sometimes as a trainer, it's tough to to actually get somebody really good at the trap bar and then transition to uh, a, a conventional deadlift because if you didn't teach them how to properly set up with the trap bar as if you were going to be deadlifting with them, uh, their setup is is different. A lot of people can just get bend down to grab the trap bar and then they pick up and then they're all quad in it. And, you know, when I teach to get in set for a deadlift, I'm teaching more the sliding the hips out and hinging back versus uh, bending over to get the bar. And that's part of the, the poor uh, mechanics that I see when people deadlift is they bend over to pick the bar up to deadlift and setting yourself up already and not loading the posterior chain first is one of the, the, the number one flaws I see with people yeah. deadlifting. And the other thing with the trap bar, too, is that the there's two sets of handles on one. And people don't know this, but if you – most trap bars, you can you can flip it upside down. Mm -hmm. And there's a second set of handles. And the handles on the back side of it are parallel or, or level to the weights where, where, a bar, where a straight bar will be. The ones on the top side, the handles come out and actually means you don't have to go down as low. And so when you use the upper handles, you're actually not doing as full of a range of motion as you are with the straight bar with the, the whatever the circumference is of a 45-pound of a plate. So that's something to consider, too. If you use a trap bar, play around with the other side so you go deeper. Also, to that point, that's the other group of people I like. Trap bar is great for athletes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's the best – Deadlift yeah. for athletes, I would right? Say. Because yeah. it it it's it more closely uh, relates to the the position that you would be in in basketball and football and any sports. Rarely ever, 
in in a in sports will you be in a you know full range of motion deadlift a barbell off a floor type of position you're more likely at a, a slight bend in the knee uh like you would be in a trap bar deadlift so I think great for like explosive jumps. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I would I would do jumps with a trap bar way before I would do jumps with a bar on my back, doing like a squat or whatever. Right, right. You know, you you, you figure your arms act a little bit like shock absorbers when you land, um, so you could really focus on that explosive movement. Yeah, well, I even like uh, somebody like a Corey Schlesinger who uses it like that same explosivity out of the movement of like a power clean, but you're just now. Uh, basically using the trap bar and emulating that same movement with your hips and triple extension, but it's a, so much safer and way less to to learn skill wise. Yeah, one of my favorite exercises that I more uh, do now, uh, more recently than I never did when I was younger, uh, are heavy trap bar uh, farmer walks. Mm. And this is something I learned. Uh, I, I got you know started using because of Map Strong. You know, mm-hmm. Map Strong. As part of their work sessions, you do farmer walks, and it is recommended. You can do those with dumbbells too, but a trap bar is great because you fit right inside the trap bar. When you can load it way heavier. You load it and you walk with it. Yeah. Good form, stabilize your body, tighten your core, and I just got great results. My arms felt bigger from doing that, just from holding on to that that heavy That's my favorite, and then, I mean, they, they do have some of those, like, handles where you can load plates, and so you have, like, two different handles that you can load, like, a, a heavy farmer load, but... It's still, I mean, you're going to have that that shift to, to consider. So it's nice to have that kind of balanced load, too, to, to load up heavy and walk with. 